Hello, good day, guys. My name is Nick, technical analyst for SuperForex. Today, we shall be looking at the technical analysis on the currency pair, the United States dollar to the Swiss franc. And as usual, we shall be talking about fundamental analysis before we move right down ahead to technical analysis, which is going to be purely what we'll be seeing on the chart. Well, we have noticed that the United States dollar Swiss franc has looked to reclaim at the 0 0.93 zones, despite an outbeat Swiss unemployment rate. The USD chef has uh, surged higher despite an improvement in the Swiss unemployment rate and a slim risk appetite of investors has pivoted a greenback against the Swiss franc. An aggressive interest rate high in March US monetary policy action is gaining more traction and the USD chef peer is rallying higher despite an improvement in the monthly unemployment rate by the Swiss state secretary for economic affairs on Monday. The Swiss monthly unemployment rate landed at 2.2% lower than the market consensus and prior print of 2.3%. The Swiss franc failed to capitalize on the improved monthly Swiss unemployment rate against the greenback. It is worth noting that US chef has been scaling high in March as the market participants have uh, preferred the greenback against the Swiss franc in the ongoing geopolitical tensions and uh, the escalation in the Russia-Ukraine or has spooked the market and a slim risk appetite of investors has pushed them to ship their funds into uh, safe haven assets. So uh, meanwhile, the United States dollar index, the XY is surging higher on expectations of a 50 basis point BPS interest rate hike in March monetary policy meeting. Although the Federal Reserve Chief Jerome Powell in his latest testimony on the pinned uh, 25 BPS rate hike, but kept the door open for more uh, tightening policy. The odds advocating the first 0 0.50 rate hike in March remain firmer, recently at 94% for CME's Fed Watch 2, while the 10 year US Treasury yields jumped 3.18% on Monday and mid rising odds of an aggressive interest rate policy by the Fed. This week, the US inflation numbers will hug the limelight. The US Consumer Price Index CPI numbers are likely to print at 7.9% higher than the earlier print of 7.8%, which may trigger the Fed to resort to an aggressive interest rate decision. However, the headlines from the Kremlin Kiev war will remain the major driver, of course. And now a technical overview, we have today's last price to be at 0 0.9259. And uh, the today daily change has been about 0.0090%, and approximately total daily change percent of our 0.98%. And today daily open has been at 0 0.9169. We have our daily SMA or daily SMA 20, daily SMA 50, daily SMA 100, and daily SMA 200, uh, respectively at 0 0.291, 0 0.9219, and also 0 0.9201, also 0 0.9207, and 0 0.9188. So the levels, we have our previous daily high at 0 0.921, previous daily low at 0 0.9166, and previous weekly high at 0 0.9278, uh, previous weekly low at uh, 0 0.915, and um, previous monthly low, low, checking our monthly time frame, uh, 0 0.9297, and uh, the daily Fibonacci, of course, has been at 32.8.2% at 0.9183 and 61.8% uh, daily Fibonacci had been at 0.9194. Our daily pivot point X1, S2, S3 had 0 0.9153, 0 0.9138, and 0 0.9109 respectively. Now, uh, a move for the upside for the United States dollar Swiss franc is what is possibly in the books uh, because we have seen a decline in recent days and um, a healthy change of the trend is uh, most likely what's in the books. So if we were to make an entry point uh, for United States dollar Swiss franc at the current market zone of 0 0.92509, uh, with this uh, most recent candle making a retracement, and we are looking most likely to the top side at 0 0.92918, and um, putting our stop loss somewhere at 0 0.92272, and letting the trade to stand up to this point, the first TP at 0 0.92939, and maybe an extension to the upside at uh, the 0 0.93 zones. 
we should be racking not in less than uh, 40 to 50 pips plus from this trade, which is good money, of course. So that's our technical analysis on today's currency pair, the United States dollar to the Swiss franc. Hello, good day, guys. Now back to our, our commodity pair for the week. Uh, we'll be taking a look at Boeing, and um, we have noticed that the Boeing uh, company has been declining for days. And uh, uh, Boeing Co. said on Monday it is suspended buying titanium from Russia, while its European rival Airbus continues to use supplies from the nation that hosts the world's largest supply of the commodity, BSPMO to AVISMA. The US uh, plane maker said it had substantial inventory of the metal and uh, prices in aerospace for its trend relative to its weight and its compatibility with the latest generation of carbon fiber. Now, long distance passenger jets, we have suspended purchasing titanium from Russia. Uh, our inventory and diversity of titanium sources provides sufficient supply for airplane production. Uh, Boeing NYSC said in an email statement that the suspension was reported earlier by the Wall Street Journal. The head of state controlled uh, VSMPO AVISMA hit out at Boeing's decision to suspend the contract. Now, which had been renewed four months ago at the Dubai Air Show, where Boeing pledged to keep the Russian company at its largest titanium supply. The two companies have also agreed to increase the use of our Fogin's manufacturing joint venture, Ura Boeing Manufacturing in Russia's Titanium Valley in the Ruras. We recently regret that the contracts with our long term partner are suspended. Uh, VSMPOA VISM Chief Executive Dmitry Osnipov said in an emailed statement on Monday. We are now re reorienting our sales policy to other markets, he said, adding that the company had prepared for such an outcome for several months. Now, this has really uh, been the reason for the sharp decline of the popular aircraft company. And uh, Western governments have imposed sanctions on Russia after it invaded Ukraine in what it calls a special military operation. But they have not targeted VSMPO Abismi, and 25% uh, of which is owned by state defense. Uh, conglomerate, of course. Now, uh, what to expect from this? We are looking out uh, for a sharp decline, even more down to the downside. Uh, it had been at 168, but now we are looking for an extension, checking out our daily time frame. An extension down to the, the 165 zones, if most likely possible, and also uh, we have noticed that it's riding close to the 30 period uh, relative strength index. And uh, a much more extension of this down to the other side will mean that a fatal blow for the aircraft company. So uh, if we're to make an entry for this trade for Boeing, uh, what we should be expecting is a deep sell, of course, as explained. So we're putting our stop loss around the 180 zones and TP at the 164.50 uh, zones. So if we were to make an entry at the point and let the trade run up today, we're looking at nothing less than uh, uh, 30 to 50 pips from that trade, of course, which is good morning. So that's our technical analysis on today's commodity going. I remain your old sneak. Bye for now.